Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are inside of Craft and we are going to talk about why this is one of the best note-taking apps out there and it is pretty much the prettiest note-taking app out there. Design-wise this app is beautiful. I'm in the web version, they have a Windows app and a, a Mac app and an iOS app as well and I think this is really good on all devices but it is the best on an iOS device even though the web version is quite pretty as well. So we can organize everything inside of folders. We have backlinks inside of here as well so you can link different things together like I've done here and you can open things. You can actually highlight things. We have um, great uh, support for uh, formatting text as well and you can do a backslash like this and you will get all of the different options and there are quite a few options. They now have whiteboards as well so you can insert a whiteboard inside of here which is a beta feature uh, so this is only going to get better. So it has whiteboards, it has pages, it has backlinks and this is one of the apps that people do not talk too much about even though it keeps getting better and it has um it is one of the best apps out there you have this unsorted uh, page right here which shows you everything that is not inside of a folder so you can use this as sort of an inbox feature. We have a bunch of different templates you can choose from. We uh, can add new docs quite easily or new documents uh, and the way this, uh, these backlinks works is that you can actually link this into a page or you can link to a specific block as well. So uh, you could link to a block inside of one of your notes. So just a paragraph or a couple of sentences. We also do have craft extensions, uh, which works on the Mac. And I have one that allows me to send things to things three. And I have one that allows me to post directly to Medium as well. So I could write my whole blog post inside of Craft. And I do not ever have to leave the app. I can just uh, export it to my blog right from the app, which is again a really cool feature. Right here you can change the formatting as well. And the most beautiful thing about this app is probably the uh, cards and the way the cards work. So if I jump into my personal social media homepage, I have a couple of cards here. Uh, and these are essentially backlinks to a page, but you can format them as a card. And these cards are so beautiful. The whole app is just a beautiful experience. Uh, and every bit of design here is just amazing. That's what makes this app a really good note-taking and document app. It is great for collaboration as well, but I have only been using it uh, by myself. Here I've created sort of a Kanban board so I can drag things uh, wherever I want them to uh, according to my workflow. So going to do research, doing, done, and I've been playing around with this app uh, a lot. Actually, this is an idea I will probably film today. I forgot that I had it. The problem with having so many note-taking apps you test out uh, is that things tend to disappear. Anyways, we have these uh, cards, as I said, so you can link it as a page like this or you could link it as a card and we have a couple of cards to choose from uh, and you can change the color of this, you can change the background image of this, you can change the font of this, uh, you can change uh, the previews, there are a lot of things you can do. You can actually have your own emojis here as well and 
it is just such a pleasant experience. Uh, it is great for people who like to write, for example, blog posts, longer blog posts or scripts. It is probably best for longer notes, not necessarily short notes like an outliner would be because this is actually not a note taking app. I would categorize it more as a, as a, um, documents app it does great at uh taking longer notes like this one right here or like this one right here as long as they are longer this app is perfect for shorter notes it might not be the best however it works for uh, basic note taking as well even though i would recommend it for longer notes but this is my favorite app for long uh, form writing this is the app i tend to go to whenever i am planning to do long form writing inside of the app you can also go in and see how many words you have in total in your whole workspace you can create multiple workspaces here as well with teams or just for yourself as i said we have the folder structure and this is just such a pleasant way to take notes the one of if not the prettiest note-taking app and documents app out there i prefer this over something like google docs or word just because it is more beautiful it is easier to use and uh, i also use it on the mac a lot and it is native to the mac it stores your files locally so it is super fast as well it works offline has all of the things that I would like to have in a note-taking app, allows you to customize with the cards uh, and the backlinks. You can backlink to just a piece of text, a paragraph, so you don't have to duplicate things. So many great things about this application. Amazing templates here as well. If you don't want to make things yourself you just want to use the templates you can publish things to the web uh, which is again great uh, as i said this is probably one of my favorite apps out there and an app i have been playing around with for a long long time time i'm on the pro plan uh, which allows me to create as many documents as i want uh, and just in general an app i would recommend if you're uh, looking for an app to do long form writing in if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and i will try to get to them as soon as i can thank you so so much for watching today's video